Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of We Believe in Film. I'm your host, Timothy Ditzler. I'm, I'm hearing the theme music in my mind. I'm hearing it in my mind. Do, 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 do. I don't even know what the theme music is. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. I can't believe it has been three weeks since I posted an episode. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So many, so many things have fallen through in the last couple weeks in trying to get YouTube videos done and trying to get podcasts uploaded. I had so many ideas of incorporating guest clips into this thing, and it's still just, it, it, it didn't go as planned. So those of you who submitted clips on how you stay busy or how you stay motivated in, in the winter, uh, I appreciate it and we're gonna have to try it again we're gonna have to figure out another way to do it because it just didn't it didn't work as I had envisioned it so but thanks again guys thanks I, I really appreciate all the you know all the support and and help and even even you guys that are jumping in and telling me that you miss this thing and you want it back you know it's coming. It's finally hitting the 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 happy the happier months where it's not so dark, you know, at 4 p.m. and you know my whole motivation drive goes down to the ground once <laughs> once the sun goes down. But uh, all right, so let's 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 discuss the topic of the show. And uh, today's episode, I kind of wanted to just touch on creative spaces. You know, I'm I'm in the middle. Well, I finished I finished shooting everything for my video, but I'm in the process of editing a video for my YouTube on my new desk setup. It's not like one of those, you know, hip desk setups. I'm not going to like do the slow-mo pans across and, you know, uh, voiceover work explaining, oh, this keyboard I got for $99.99 at the Apple store. You know, it's not going to be anything crazy like that. It's just kind of, you know, my style desk tour video. And it's it's more of an office tour, I should say, because that's, that's what this episode's about. It's about, you know, having a a space, a creative space to call your own, a place to kind of go and stow away when, you know, you're low on low on creative flow i mean it's more than that it's more than just a kind of a hiding hiding place it's you know i i look at the the function the cool factor the storage and the sanity of having an office and i got lucky i got a girlfriend that's like all your stuff's going in one room and i was like what what oh man awesome I was like, kind of put up a fight a little bit about it. I was like, what do you mean? I want some of my stuff out in the... And I was like, hell yeah, I just got an office. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't imagine that when we were moving into this place that I was going to have my own room. I thought we were going to, you know, turn this into a, a knitting room or something like that. That's a complete lie. We don't knit. But it's cool. I got lucky. I, I, I really uh, crapped out with, with luck on this one. That didn't make sense. I really got lucky. Um... But yeah, it's um, it's nice. I have a spare bedroom. It's not the biggest space, and it's carpeted floors, which makes like, when I think of an office, I think of like hardwood floors or cement floors, and you know, exposed brick and stuff like that. But I'm working with what I got, and what I got is a spare bedroom. You know, and we we do not have very very much storage space in this apartment. You know, we only have one major closet like a community closet and then there's the two closets we have for each room that aren't very big you know they're they're pretty tiny closets and i'm actually in the work i showed you a little bit in the youtube video that i'll be posting on sunday it's going to be a sunday upload um i showed you a little bit on that of like the the new thing that i'm starting to do with my closet I, i'm going to put some shelving in there I moved my film storage into there, and uh, I, I think I'm going to try to do a closet and larger. Fingers crossed. My fingers are crossed right now for those of you who are only listening to the audio. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. 
I'm going to be doing video with this. So if you see me kind of looking down at the screen, I feel like my webcam is a little too high for me to just maintain eye contact. And I'm just looking to make sure that I don't have like a booger hanging from my nose or anything like that. But yeah, so this apartment, it's not it's not really designed around storage. So things that wouldn't be in my office are in here, like clothes. You know, my all my clothing are in here. Um, all my like boxes of memories, you know how we we carry around these boxes of memories like that's all shoved into the closet. There's like stuffed animals in there that were given to me as presents that I don't have the heart to throw away. And just like random stuff that if I had more storage or like a storage unit or area in this apartment complex, I would have them. So dealing dealing with that, like that kind of brings me to um, the the like the first topic I kind of wanted to touch on was um, before I got this new desk, I got the Zenith Zenith. What is it called? Hold on. I got the Zenith the Zenith 55 inch desk. It looks like a picnic table, like, or it doesn't look like a picnic table. It's the size of a picnic table minus like benches on either side. It's a cool idea. Maybe I'll get a bench for it because I, I use two chairs. I have, that's how long this desk is. I don't always have the folding chair out, but there's times where I have two chairs going on here because there's just so much space. Um, it doesn't really look like it in the video, but well, you'll, you'll see. You'll see what it looks like. Things always look smaller in videos, especially my physique looks a lot smaller in videos than it truly is. But um, so, yeah, I, I had to get rid of the tiny desk that I had. I had a little tiny blue desk that I got at Goodwill for $14 like four years ago. And, you know, that desk has been with me pretty much since I've been in Tennessee. You know, I've been living here for five years, well, five and a half years or something like that. And that desk kind of just rode along with me to place to place. And I, I love that desk. I remember my girlfriend really hating it and she really didn't want it in our bedroom when we were sharing an apartment with someone and I was like look I need I need you know creatives me creative people like I personally need a space where I can I can work whenever I feel the whenever the itch comes on you know we need a place that we can go to or even if it's just like a coffee house or something like that like when when the when the uh, when the inspiration hits, you know, we we need to be able to get to a place where all of our things are that we need, like all my cameras. If I if I feel a video idea come on or I have a rant to say or, you know, I'm, I know that I can just walk in here. I can flick on the lights. I have all my lights set up on the Philips Hue so I can just tap a button, get it all natural white, crank it up and then or i even have studio lights which you can see you can see those behind me well i call them studio lights they're just led lights and i have you know soft boxes for those or umbrellas are even quicker like if i'm just trying to throw something together i just you know shoot two stands up with the leds some umbrellas and boom it's it's good to go i can the but what what uh what was happening before before I got this desk was I felt the walls closing in. I was, I, I, I just have too much stuff and I'm really finding it hard for me to kind of cut down on, you know, what's, what's needed and what's not like what's important and what's kind of just throw away that I'm saving that I'll think I'll use one day. And, you know, we've all done the thing where we've gotten rid of something and literally a day after we got rid of it, um, we needed it. We got called upon and needed said thing that we just got rid of. So it's it's funny. Like, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have so much gear. I have so many cameras. I have so much stuff that I use rarely, but I want it on on you know on go like where if when i need light stands i have light stands when i need a, a tripod when i need a joby gorilla pod when i need led lights when i need this when i need speed lights when i need you know a medium format camera when i need my negatives you know it's all kind of right here in this area and you know, I have sanity written down as my number one kind of topic of this situation. And and uh, I'm not the type of person that goes to a coffee house to get work done. Like I need I need because I'll get to the coffee house and I won't have everything I need. 
I'll forget something. I'll forget my headphones. I can't even tell you how many times I left to go to Starbucks to work on editing a video or editing the Analog Talk podcast, and I forgot my headphones. Like, who does that? I do. I do, apparently. But, you know, it, this office kind of... It, it means more than just a workspace. You know, I, I tried recording this earlier and my one takeaway from the whole entire thing was when, you know, when I get off of work after I, you know, play with the cats and, you know, talk to the girlfriend about how our days were and, you know, grab a snack, get a shower. I, I have this sanctuary. I have this getaway that is this office, you know, even if it's just to come in and research something like I always have a note. I, I, uh, uh, viewers, viewers of the podcast, I keep a list, a daily list. I take a, I take a, uh, what are these called? Post-it note. I take a post-it note and I write, you know, f it can be anywhere from two to eight things on this post-it note. And, if I cross one thing off, I feel better, you know, like I feel like I had gotten at least something done. I made some progression towards making, you know, my photography and YouTube creative side. I, I'm taking a, a step forward towards, you know, doing that. And I don't think I would have if I didn't have this office or, you know, creative space, I don't know what what or how I would get anything done. I remember when we had lived with roommates before moving into this apartment, man, it was really hard for me to get things done, you know, even developing film and stuff like that. Like when you live in a community space, it's tough to be creative in an area like that. People are loud, you know, people are messy and I don't want people to see that, but um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy. It's, I, I use this I use this space as kind of a sanctuary and it, it can be a hiding place sometimes like if things aren't going well in life and I need to get away I can come in here but you know sometimes it's a catch-22 sometimes I come in here planning to like like today today is Friday I work in an hour and I was you know gunning on getting a list of pretty big things done and I got sucked into YouTube and I got sucked into listening to podcasts, but I also, you know, got one thing done, and that was to make a list of what this podcast episode's going to be about. And I, you know, here we are, we're fulfilling the podcast. But it kind of brings me to function is the next thing on my list, functionality. You know, when, um, when, when emptying my office to put this desk, I mean, if you could see how big this desk is. It's, it's very big, and I knew that I had to get rid. I had to get rid of a lot of stuff to kind of fit this in here. Um, I, I was almost thinking of keeping my second desk and putting it in another corner as like a, a getaway getaway. Like if, if I'm not creative on this side of the room, maybe I could go on that side. And then I'm like, dude, you're getting, you're getting way too crazy about this. Like, chill. Make it simple. I think the fact that it's not simple, that there's stuff everywhere, like it's sensory overload, like there's too many things for me to do in here. So I think since the desk is set up and I have that kind of going the way I want it to go, I think I'm going to start working on, you know, combining things and, you know, all the developing stuff I have on three metal racks. And I think I'm going to try to get that as minimal as possible and try to get that all down on one big rack. I'm going to get a tall rack and get rid of these short racks. I'm going to get a tall one or one wide one, like the one that my printer's on, right? The one, the one my uh, Canon printer's on is, is a really wide, tall one. And I think I could fit everything on one of those. And that would clear out two whole other racks and leave a ton of space. I just want open, open areas. That's why I'm, I, I'm struggling on hanging things on the opposite side of this wall. I, I don't want to clutter up this wall because I feel like the walls are coming in on me. The more stuff at first, I loved it. At first, I loved hanging shelves and displaying everything, but now it's starting to give me a claustrophobic feeling. So I think I need to just start. Yeah. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just make piles of things and like tell my girlfriend to to throw away stuff like there's there's three piles in these three piles. It's like, please don't throw away. 
like uh, I don't need it, but I'm saving it. And then there's like Christmas cards from 10 years ago that I'm saving. Like at some point, take one thing off of each pile and throw it away. And I'll never even know. I'll, I'll literally never even know because I'm hiding things under racks and <laughs> stuff that, you know, I just can't get, get myself to get rid of because I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I can't get rid of things. I, I'm just a very sentimental, you know, kind of person. But I'm trying to I, – I realized, I realized that the closing in factor is, is what's kind of killing me with being productive. I think if I didn't have so much visual – camera porn and stuff i wouldn't be so sucked into just looking stuff up on youtube and not getting anything accomplished so yeah in the next couple weeks i'm gonna kind of bring you guys on this since i started it since i did the office video i think i'm going to continue and make this a little bit of a series i don't say it's going to be like a weekly series or anything like that because we all know that i i just can't get a damn video done to save my life on a weekly basis but i think i'm going to make a little bit of a series about this and document each time i you know get rid of something or you know change the developing rack setup i think i'm going to do a little video on that once because i want to show you guys all my developing stuff anyway and do a, a developing film series my style but um yeah i think I, I think i'll i'll make this a little bit of a series as in you know keeping tabs on maybe it'll make me actually get rid of things since i'm throwing it out there and saying that you know you guys need to you guys need to call me on my shit and tell me to get rid of stuff because damn which means more giveaways for you guys and the winner is oh man so the last the last two things I have on my list are kind of one in the same. I, I have uh, the cool factor and YouTube backdrop. So that's kind of what I'm working on. I, I'm going to build a little area to hold a tripod right here at my iMac kind of or maybe I'll just use maybe I'll just get a better webcam. I, I'm looking into software for HDMI. I anyway, write a little note HDMI software for DSLR. There's a there's a podcaster YouTuber that I watch his name's Craig Adams. He does a live stream of his podcast. Well, I don't know if he does live stream or just a video. I know he's done live streams with his podcast, but he does a video. And I kind of want to incorporate video in this since I'll be making YouTube kind of the home for We Believe in Film until said until I get on like Podbean or get this thing, I need to get on there. I I was thinking about mm, I, I'm more, I'm I'm trying to figure out hosting. There's a couple different places that I've been checking out for hosting. So just hang tight. I know you guys like to listen on the iTunes app or the Podbean app or Google Play and all that stuff, but it's coming. Just be patient. Just be patient. But what I was thinking of is it would be really cool to have, you know, the camera rack and all this stuff as my backdrop for YouTube videos for my speaking parts. Normally, you guys just see my closet, which is to the right of me, and that's very plain and boring. I thought of maybe using the closet still as the backdrop and kind of hanging pictures, but I just see that being a problem. So I, I think I'm going to make my office double as a set for my YouTube. So that's that's kind of next on the list of things to do and i'll keep you posted on that too i want to hang a lot of the viewer photos that i get and i don't get like fan art or anything crazy like that but i do get a lot of pictures mailed um from you guys and i want to display that in a site where you can see it so that's uh that's next on the list of things to do for for uh for the podcast and for the youtube but it looks like I'm rolling over 20 minutes already. I had no intentions of doing that. I was hoping to get this edited and up before I leave for work. So I kind of need to wrap this episode up. So creative spaces. Uh, leave, leave some stuff down below. Leave some help for me letting go and getting rid of things that I, uh, I don't necessarily need. Or what, what do you do? You know, like how do you... Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like the walls are kind of closing in on you because you have too much stuff? Like, uh, I'm starting to feel weird about it. And uh, do you guys, I mean, do you work better from home? Do you work better in like a coffee house or anything like that? Um, let me know. Leave me some leave me some tips and tricks, guys. And I hope me kind of rambling about this stuff, you know, maybe helped you out a little bit. I don't know how that's going to help, but damn. <laughs> 
Uh, last thing I wanted to touch on before we get out of here, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video series on my YouTube. I know, yes, Tim is promising another series that he will not complete. But I have so many, I asked for questions, and you guys sent me so many questions, like millions and millions of questions. Not really millions, but like probably over 100. So what I'm going to do in this Q&A series, I, fi I figured it's a way to put out weekly content as well. I'm going to be answering your cues and um, I'll be doing four, four questions, four answers per video. If you haven't submitted a question, feel free to submit that question down below. Or text it to my Instagram or Twitter, email, however you guys follow me. Pretty embarrassing. You guys now get to see that I use a blue, a blue snowball for my, <laughs> for my podcasting. Um, quality is... Quality is... Uh, mm. But I was in a guitar center looking at their podcasting equipment on Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday, Wednesday night. And they have some pretty good deals, some affordable stuff. And I'm definitely, especially for the analog talk, I would really want to bring like the highest quality to that podcast because I feel like analog talk is is like the big gun, you know. All right, guys, it has been real. I want to uh, I want to thank all all you guys for the support and always being there for me and encouraging me to continue doing what I love to do. And, you know, I wouldn't be doing this stuff. Well, I lie. I would be doing this stuff without you guys because this is my love and passion, but you guys make it kind of, you make it real. And that's, what's awesome. So I love you guys and I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. I, I'm going to, I'm going to stop being lazy. I promise. I'll see you next week. guys thanks for listening to my rambling ramble on um yeah so you can find me on instagram and twitter at timothy makeups you can find me on youtube at youtube.com slash timothy makeups ditzler that's a mouthful just go to the search bar search timothy.makeups you'll find a ton of videos on me from me and every Wednesday, every, every, every Wednesday until we die, Analog Talk Podcast with my co-host Chris Bartolucci. We have a pillar of the film photography community guest every Wednesday. So check us out on iTunes, Google, all that crap. And I'll see you next week. Later. Later.